All right, it is time to get your skull chant ready. The kickoff to the Vikings regular season is coming up on Sunday when they face the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at home. Of course, a lot of excitement for the Vikings this year. They had a great season last year, and a lot of fans are really excited to see how they perform this weekend. Don Mitchell is here now with more on what we can expect, Don. You know, it's always exciting when you have that first Purple Friday, right? Yeah. And it doesn't matter if everyone's saying it is a competitive rebuild. It's ready to get the season started, and anything can happen. Happen any given Sunday and it starts this Sunday so let me just tell you one thing if you watched the NFL season underway last night right especially Kansas City and the Lions you are ready for anything so let's just tell you what's gonna happen right now Kevin O'Connell saying that it's going to be a tough time for sure. They're gonna game plan for week one they're getting ready for the Buccaneers right now but they'll also game plan and get ready. So now after that official hit in the mouth, so to speak, things of course will change. It's like in every football game, right? It's going to be time to adjust on the fly and for the rookies and the young guys. That means leaning on what they know and trusting it. Veterans already know how to do it. The rookies need to do it. Kevin O'Connell says that that's where the veterans will come into play even more so this week. It's mental as well as physical and it takes a village. I'm going to do all the things that I feel are my responsibility to make sure our team's ready to play and that we can go out and play a clean game with a quieted mind and just go do hopefully uh, a lot of the things we've been doing on the practice field. Uh, but that extra element of the, those leadership guys stepping in and uh, just putting their arm around one of those guys and, and letting them know what's important and that they're, uh, you know, they're more than ready based upon the work they've put in. Now, a lot of people want to know about the injury report. Marcus Davenport's the only one on there. He tweaked his ankle yesterday. He's being monitored, but they think that he may be able to go. Hmm. So we know we want to see him outside linebacker along with Daniel Hunter. So we'll keep our fingers crossed on that. Yes, we will. Okay. Super exciting.